Hi everybody, this is Daniel Chris from Prehistoric Facts, and this is an extra episode I'm reviewing two TV shows that I have watched on YouTube. Uh, they're actually called, it's actually a narrated and hosted uh, show called Dinosaur and T-Rex Exposed. Now, the we'll start with the Christopher Reeves uh, hosted and narrated Dinosaur. Now this, now this show was actually de debuted on PBS in the 1980s, mid 1980s, and uh, this actually, and this show actually was actually kind of a, kind of actually pretty interesting when I actually looked at it. Um, <clears throat> it has stop motion uh, dinosaurs uh, in, the, in this uh, in this show, and it actually is uh, at that time. Uh, it was actually pretty information. It was actually pretty good information in terms of uh, uh, what dinosaurs were and also how they possibly behaved and all that sort of stuff. And s pretty much the paleontologists at that time, yeah, they were kind of a younger version of themselves, like uh, Phil Curry, Robert Bacher, uh, Jack Horner, uh, you name it, those types of guys. And uh, and what I actually am going to give you into this is that. Uh, this show, compared to like the other recent uh, dinosaur shows uh, that I've seen, uh, is that the the recent dinosaur shows are more up to date. This show, dated, dated information, and you actually kind of know this because since it was made in the 1980s, you know that the information back then was is not as modern as what we actually have, but they were actually getting close to being more of like a modern uh, type of paleontology of today and so it was kind of getting towards that type of era but uh, but Christopher Reeves actually does a nice job of actually hosting that show uh, I wouldn't be surprised if like if PBS actually kind of like remakes some of these uh, shows that they actually had uh, back in the 80s and 90s and actually kind of like redid them, you know, and actually have like different people actually narrate them and all that sort of stuff. It doesn't always have to be a celebrity, but I mean, can you imagine if like maybe like Morgan Freeman or James Earl Jones actually narrated uh, a dinosaur documentary? I mean, that would have been this legendary type of stuff, you know, and and I mean, it was actually not that bad of a show. You know, it's, it's under an hour long, and so... Uh, I would actually say that I would actually, I would actually probably give this a towards like say, like a three and a half stars, or three and a half out of five, excuse me, three and a half out of five, considering that it's actually, uh, it was a very good show for its time, and uh, and uh, it actually was good hosting and narration, and the paleontologists actually were a younger version of themselves, and so I mean, and Phil Curry at that time almost looked like David Letterman at, in the 80s, if you can believe it or not. <clears throat> anyway, next to the ne to the next PBS uh, documentary uh, about dinosaurs is T-Rex Exposed. Now, this is actually one of the first uh, shows that was a paleontology type of shows that was actually solely focused on Tyrannosaurus Rex. And so this was actually kind of actually giving the idea of like what T-Rex was actually was. And so... At the, and during this time, it was when the Wanko Rex was actually discovered, around 1990 or 89 or 1990. And so this is that, but the show actually kind of debuted in 1990. And so this is actually just a little bit, just, this was just a little bit before Sue. And at that time, the Wanko Rex was actually the most complete T-Rex ever found at that time, before Sue. And so, uh, it actually kind of, I'm trying to give a good picture on tor on towards what T-Rex really was, but even though it actually gives you more towards how scientists actually, how the paleontologists actually kind of work things out in terms of like how they actually are doing these, um, getting their data, you know, all that sorts of stuff. Because you have Robert Bacher, Jack Horner, uh, James Farlow, uh, those types of scientists uh, that are actually in this series or in this show not a series and uh, and so another thing about this show dated as well as 
the mid 1980s uh, show and so this is actually a very dated information uh, you can always tell by that how the videotape actually how the show kind of looked and uh, but even though the evident the evidence the how they actually presented evidence was not too bad uh, for that time it was actually very very kind of starting get it was right on towards that point where it was becoming modernized paleontology but we actually know a lot more about T-Rex now than we do back then and so this was actually a little bit more uh, of like a starting point of like how we actually will know T-Rex and now we got more specimens of T-Rex at the now than when we actually had at that time because at that time there was actually less than seven uh, com in co less than seven specimens of T-Rex and so that actually kind of actually puts a perspective on this and uh, and also when we actually look at the debate of the T-Rex was, was T-Rex a hunter a scavenger we all know that T-Rex is probably just an opportunistic predator where it was just uh, it hunted and scavenged it whenever opportunity comes uh, for like a free meal they'll take that opportunity you know whenever there's a dead carcass laying around they'll take it you know but even though they can't solely survive on on uh, dead animals they need to they need to hunt and kill in order to actually survive and so that actually puts into perspective of the T-Rex hunter versus scavenger theory or, or hunter versus scavenger uh, debate but even though we all know that T-Rex is actually just a opportunistic predator and so yeah I mean it was actually pretty well it was actually pr pretty well done at that time uh, I would say that like the better T-Rex uh, documentary series are actually kind of are kind of actually a little bit towards like in the uh, in the 2000s is when you actually kind of actually have a little bit more of a better understanding of T-Rex but even though there's more books out there now that you can actually read uh, to actually know more about T-Rex but I would actually give this like a 3.8 out of 5 uh, considering that even though T-Rex is my all-time favorite dinosaur uh, I would actually I mean I would dock a little extra points on this in terms of that it's, all, it's one of my favorite dinosaurs but even though PBS did a nice job it was by Nova and Nova is actually a good scientific uh, um, TV series on PBS and I always love Nova and so give extra points for that and uh, and of course the paleontologists did actually a really nice job of actually presenting uh, how they actually how they actually will give the how they give the information and uh, and of course uh, like I said dated but even though it was actually a pretty nice uh, show into to the begin with for the early 90s all right that's it for now now next comment section on any Facebook post. Remember keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Twitter at CSGRILL. That's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there. Also take care of the people around you and also for your younger people out there. Make sure to listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you could have for good education. It's very important to have a good education. So with a good education, get a good job in the future. And as you can see I am wearing uh, not only just my uh, T-Rex, uh, one of my T-Rex ball caps uh, considering that I have to wear one uh, for the show. But you see, I'm actually wearing a Darth Vader t-shirt, considering that uh, I'm recording this uh, episode uh, on May 4th, and we all know that May 4th is Star Wars Day, and so may the 4th be with you, or otherwise may the force be with you. And I would actually, well, do one of my favorite uh, Darth Vader quotes on for this, and I would actually say... The fools strong with this one. And then, of course, tomorrow when I upload this episode, it'll be Cinco de Mayo. So, happy, happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody out there. And uh, hope, hopefully celebrate it. And also, drink responsibly, you adults. And uh, <clears throat> anyway.
Anyway, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next week.